Hi, everyone, and welcome to Heal Endometriosis Naturally with Wendy K. Laidlaw. Wendy has spent the last two years helping women with various stages of endometriosis to heal naturally after putting her condition into remission. After her own healing success from stage four endometriosis and adenomyosis, she's inspired to heal others, and her goal is to help some of the 175 million women know that there is another way other than painkillers, drugs, or surgery. This is the place to be for real talk with real people for real results so you can learn how to heal your endometriosis naturally. Please note that the opinions expressed in this program may represent options but are not a substitute for proper medical care. Before starting any new health care program, we recommend you consult with a health professional. Hi everyone, it's Wendy Laidlaw here from Heal Endometriosis Naturally. I am really excited to have with me uh, Elizabeth from United States of America. Hi Elizabeth. Hi. Great to have you here. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and share with your success on the Heal Endometriosis Naturally 12-week foundation program. So thank you so much for doing that. Now, I know when I do these interviews and people are listening to them and the feedback I get, they're just like, oh, they love hearing like where you were, what the journey was like and where you are now. So perhaps you could give a little bit of background as to what, what your body was like, what was happening for you before you discovered the Heal Endometriosis Naturally program? Sure. Yeah, so uh, I had had a huge flare-up of symptoms after I had my daughter. Um, when my cycles started returning, um, it took me a while to figure out what it was, and I went through a lot of testing and scans and doctor's visits um, until I finally figured out what exactly was going on. Um, and at that point, I was having pain every day. Um, abdominal pain, back pain, hip pain. Um, I just felt awful. Uh, and it was really getting in the way of my daily life. I, I had so been looking forward to returning to all my exercise and activities after having my daughter. And um, I used to love to run and bike and hike. And my pain was getting in the way of that. I wasn't able to do those things, really. Um, and if I did, I'd just pay for it. Um, and everything would get worse. So I was, uh, I was feeling really hopeless. Um, I was feeling really frustrated with myself, very angry with my body, um, and just feeling like this is never going to get better. Like this is just how I'm going to have to live out the rest of my life. Um, cause I had tried things before I'd had multiple surgeries. Um, I'd had, I'd been on hormones, and medications, and uh, it just seemed to make everything more complicated um, yeah. and make things worse. So I was, I was in a rough spot. I know, and it's really, it's really hard to hear like where you came from and, and that state that you were in. And when, when you look back now, when you hear yourself talk about it, how, how does that make you feel? I mean, it's like it's like depressing to hear myself talk about it but in the same way it's like so gratifying because I don't feel like that anymore <laughs> I'm not living my life like that day to day um there's light at the end of the tunnel and there mm. there was hope for me <laughs> yeah. I didn't know it back then um so so in a way it just feels like it feels far away uh -huh. even though it wasn't that far away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, that's amazing. And full credit to you for uh, uh, recognizing, identifying that for you, the, the medical machine just was making you more ill and making things more complicated. And I guess our, our conditioning is, you know, our, our mindset is that if we're unwell, we go to a doctor, they're supposed to make us better. If the doctor cannot make us better, we go to a specialist. They're supposed to make us better. But I think what's very difficult for a woman with endometriosis is, when that doesn't happen, and then you're getting progressively worse. So um, I know you'd uh, listened to the audio version of my book before yeah. reaching out to me. So what, what I think, and I think maybe you could share a bit more about, you know, your experience with the audio book and then what resulted in you reaching out for more support. Sure. Yeah, I, I listened to your, your book on audio, and it was a huge eye-opener for me. I mean, I've, I've heard other women say this before about your book, but it did. It felt like you were talking right to me. You yeah. know, I'd literally be walking around my house listening to it going, yes, <laughs> you know, and 
Um, I had tried some recommendations from your book. Um, the biggest thing that I did was cut out wheat pretty much immediately and had noticed some huge benefits with that. Um, and so then I kind of realized, wow, you know, she's really onto something. I'm really onto something. And then I started just my progress started slowing down. I started kind of having some roadblocks, felt like I was just kind of stuck. Yeah. And that's when I had reached out via email and um, started the program. So, yeah. Oh, well, that's great. Well, I'm so glad that, because I think some women do tend to try and do it on their own through the book, which is fantastic. And that's why I wrote it. Yeah. And then equally, I don't want, didn't want any women to think like they failed or it's a reflection on them if they hit a roadblock or they regress or yeah. you know, they stay stuck, you know. And that's why I created the 12-week online foundation program mm -hmm. as a step-by-step hand-holding way to kind of like really look at all the different because when you're in pain and you're suffering, it's sometimes quite hard to make those changes. You don't have the headspace, you know, to even think about those things. Was that what it was like for you? Yeah, it was, you know, and you just don't, you just don't know where to go next. And, and I remember you saying in your book that like you had been the most impatient person in the world and just kind of tried to overhaul a bunch of things all at once but then that set you back and and I could kind of see myself starting to head that way yeah. so I thought oh I better I better <laughs> reach out before I set myself back too far so well I'm delighted that you did and, and I think you'd watch the free webinar that I do and, and then you know decided to to take that positive step so maybe for those who don't understand or are maybe sitting on the fence or they're like, well, what is this 12 week foundation program and, and how, well, firstly, how, what is it and how has it helped you? So it's essentially a, a slow systematic um, way of making adjustments over a period of time and, and learning about yourself and your body and finding out what your triggers are, what's causing you inflammation. Um, and, and then, sorry, something's popping up on my screen here. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then, um, just and just kind of leading you through making different changes, um, but very slowly and very systematically. And I think that's what was really key. Um, and then coaching, essentially one-on-one -on -one sessions with you um, throughout the process, which was extremely helpful. Oh, that's good. And 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 it's nice because I was interviewing um, another student who's finished recently as well, and she was saying that she was just as impatient like I was, like you were, to like, I want to change everything and I want to change it now. And then, you know, because we're all like that in this fast-paced society that we live in now mm -hmm. and but I recognized that in myself that, that was you know it, it didn't benefit me to go rushing in it almost you know I made me more despondent and then made me more kind of like you know spinning around like well I don't know what worked then and I don't know what didn't work then so that was why I structured it to be week by week step by step and and how did you find that to um, those changes that were suggested how did you find how easy was that to, to implement it was it was easy because it was slow um, yeah. because change change is hard change is hard no matter which way you spin it um, and especially if you're if you're making lots of changes which yeah. which you do have to make to yeah. feel better um, uh, but I felt that the the you know the pace was good I felt like it was doable. Um, and, and yeah, I, I, I kind of look forward to each next week, you know, like, oh, what's, what's going to be on the webinar? You know, what's going to be the topic this week? What else can I learn? What else, what else can I do? Um, so it, it felt very manageable. Oh, good. I'm glad. And, and it's interesting to hear about change because I, I read something the other day. We're like, we, we all seek change and fear change in equal measure. And it's yeah. so true, isn't it? It's like, we want change, but no, I'm too scared. I want change, I'm too scared. And I know I was like that. I was like so impatient. And um, and we all know, I think, whatever stage anyone's at, whoever's listening to this, yeah. you will know instinctively that there is change required and you're probably resisting it because, you, A, you don't know what that means. And then is that going to be more pain or more suffering? Or And actually, so how did you find making those changes for you? How, how was it? 
Uh, some things were challenging and some things were easy. You know, the, the idea of, well, everything that I'm trying and everything that I'm doing is to make myself better, is to heal myself. So that principle made making changes easier. Uh, But definitely, you know, I would run up against resistance with myself. Um, And you were helpful in that regard because I remember you on the webinar saying, it's normal to feel resistant to it. Just listen to what's going on. You know, when I, when you would make a recommendation and you kind of feel yourself going, Oh God, I can't, you know, but, but to like acknowledge it, listen to it. Um, and then just, you know, realize that, okay, like that's how I feel about it, but I can try it. I can push through it and, and it was worth it. Great. Yeah. And, and, it, and it's wonderful to even hear you talk It's because it's learning to get to know ourselves because I think when we're in pain and we're distraught and we're feeling hopeless and helpless and we're just like desperately going up to doctors saying, help us, you know, we, we don't know what we're thinking and feeling and we're, you know, we're just like literally being swept up in this, you know, hamster wheel of, of what's going on. So, but as you say, we, we, I knew and, and I know you did that so come on to the program we know that there are changes that need to be made but uh, to be able to hear the various parts of us and give reflection and time to that can be quite quite surprising so what was that what was a surprise to you about the program that you obviously the webinar kind of gives an overview and the book you know gives you an idea but what what surprised you the most pleasantly about the program yeah I think what surprised me the most was how it's so much more than I thought it was. You know, I mostly the the goal that I had in mind was to reduce my pain, get out of pain, feel better, just kind of have improved quality of life. But the ways in which that happened, I didn't anticipate. Um, It was just so much more. So I have so much more self-awareness than I did. I learned so much about myself and my body. Um, I really feel in tune with my body and I feel like I have a much better relationship with it. Um, I, I am more accepting of it. I'm more loving with it. Um, I've listened to it and it's responded back to me, you know, as, as a result um, that anger and resentment that I used to feel toward it. I, I really don't feel that anymore. Um, and all of those nice byproducts <laughs> um, and really just getting in tune with myself and my body. Um, I didn't, I didn't expect that. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm so glad. I'm so glad to hear that because even the way that you were talking, we were talking just briefly before I started the interview and I can, I can really hear the confidence that you have in your body now. And yeah. that's, that's the most wonderful thing to hear. And I know I have confidence in my body now mm-hmm. and those that come through the program, they, they get their body they have a relationship with their body and it sounds a weird concept to have a relationship with your body doesn't it, it sounds a bit woo woo but it, it it's so true isn't it and we're not taught you growing up how to read the signs how to listen to our body what it likes what it doesn't like and we're almost kind of you know made robotic that we just take things and that we're supposed to have certain you know outcomes mm-hmm. so what would you say to anyone if if they were considering the foundation program and they're at the moment then maybe they're in high levels of pain um, with endometriosis or cysts or whatever is going on for them and you know what 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 would be the encouraging words why would they want to invest in this for themselves because it's the I really believe that it's the only way to address the underlying issue with endometriosis you know anytime we go to a doctor anytime we have surgery or go on hormones, you know, you're essentially just trying to mask the symptoms, um, but you're not addressing the underlying issue. And at times it's making the underlying issue worse. Um, And, and so, and so, and so to get at the root of what the problem is. Um, And, and it works really well. Um, I, I felt, skeptical when I when I first started you know it's kind of just this leap of faith um you know I thought to myself oh I'll be the only person that it doesn't work for um, <laughs> but I, I proved myself wrong <laughs> um 
And, uh, and yeah, I mean, I should mention too, that I, I work in medicine myself. Um, I'm a physician assistant and I, I'm like part of that whole medical model. That's how I was trained. And I have a very open mind about things, but I still, you know, it was hard for me to kind of detach from that and head to like a natural holistic way of dealing with this issue. But I'm so glad that I did. Um, and it's just really opened my eyes to like the world of natural healing and just the amazing things that it can do yeah. that, um, that medicine just can't offer. And you're worth, you're worth it. You're worth that. You're worth feeling better and your body will thank you for it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, that, and, that, and, that, and, that, and that's it. Would you say that you work in the medical field as well? Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand that. Process. Sorry, we're getting a bit of feedback here. Um, sorry for anyone that's hurting your ears. I think that's fine now. Um, but yes, having working in that field, working in the industry, you understand. And and I was saying to this doctor the other day, who's who's in training, and they're saying, "Oh, do you feel like really angry towards the medical facility for for failing you?" And I'm like, "Well, to be fair, it's not their fault. That is their training. That is the conditioning that's set up by society." For and um, you know it's governed by a multi-trillion dollar industry, pharmaceutical industry, and that is a well-worn path. Right. But equally, if it's not working for people, then you know to be able to say well there is another way um, means that they don't then lose all hope and feel helpless. Um, right. Right. right, what you're doing, and I think I think you'd said as well that you you know you the, with the patients that you work with, you know what you've learned from the program yourself. You've been in looking to share with, with your patients. Yeah. It's really changed what I've learned doing this program, just in, about the body and about its processes and about what lifestyle and diet modifications can do. You know, I've, it's changed the way that I practice um, because I feel that now I know those things. I can't hold them in. <laughs> I can't, I can't withhold them from people who I feel would benefit from that, especially having witnessed the power of those things myself. Yeah. And that's it, isn't it? It's, it's the power that we have within our bodies and, and we don't know, you know, and I think some people feel, Somebody said to me the other day, I feel quite scared, the idea of even considering another route. And and what I would say to those people is if I know when I started my journey, you know, I, I had to carve all this out and figure it all out by myself. But I would go up to my doctor and say, this is what I'm doing. Would you please support me? You know, so if anybody did feel that they needed that support. And equally, I've had women who've had doctors throw pieces of paper on the floor and say, oh, that's ridiculous. That doesn't work. And then they've gone back 12 weeks later and said, hello, I'm feeling so much better now, you know? Right. So it's, it's fantastic that you have that understanding and that you that has opened your mind. And, mm-hmm. and what, what do you think it is about what's shared? I mean, you said that you've learned about the body, but what have you learned about your body now that you didn't know at the beginning of the program? Yeah, I mean, I, I suspected that everything was interconnected and, and in medical training, you learn that to a degree, but even though you learn that in theory, we still treat our bodies like there's a head and then like anything below it is just a completely different <laughs> entity. Yeah. Um, so I really, you know, learning the science behind how interconnected everything is in terms of emotions and hormone and, um, and, you know, diet and, uh, nutrients and, and how all of these things are just interconnected. Um, it was, it it caused a lot of aha moments for me. I should put it that way. Um, but yeah, there, there's just so much that I learned. Um, it's great. Oh, well, I'm so glad. I know. And I, I, I set it up in a way that I felt that the more I was learning about how everything worked and how everything was interconnected, um, the more excited I got. I use that word excited a lot, but I did get excited, literally. The more my, when my son's doing biology at school and he comes home and he shares, and I'm like, I know it's amazing how our bodies work, isn't it? And how certain things affect different things. And I think once we have that information and we have that education, it can keep ourselves inspired, you know, and we can make the necessary changes that need to be made. And I do kind of want to come back to the, some of the changes that you had to make because I'm sure people are thinking, oh, I don't want to eat, you know, lettuce leaves and turn into a rabbit for the rest of my life. I mean, so what, 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 how would you explain 
some of the essential basic foundational changes that have supported your body to, to heal? Yeah, so so I cut out wheat which and gluten, which made a huge difference for me in a lot of ways. Um, you know, it, it decreased the, the length of my periods, um, how heavy they were. Um, my skin cleared up. I'd had acne before. Um, more energy, felt better after meals. I'd been having some nausea every now and then. That went away. Um, so they're cutting out wheat. Um essentially cutting out dairy, um, except eggs, eat yeah. eggs. Um, and then sugar, uh, really, really decreasing what I eat there and being really choosy about what type of sugar, if, if I do eat it, you know, in terms of like natural sugars versus processed, mm. uh, cutting out soy, uh, and then, you know, the, the supplements, some supplements that you recommend, um, and then the lifestyle changes, adding a little bit of meditation to each day, even if it's just five or 10 minutes, um, that has been hugely helpful, yeah. even a small amount, uh, and the journaling and, and, you know, writing down, um, you know, what you eat and how it makes you feel and starting to be able to see those connections. So those are the big changes that I've done. Um, and I've noticed huge results, um, with those. So that's awesome. And full credit to you for, you know, being open to the suggestions and, you know, taking them on board and doing them every day, because again, that resistance that we talk about, that kind of better, faster, more now part, impatient parts that we have sometimes go, oh, it's not, you know, I don't want to be doing this. I don't want to be changing that. But actually, that's why the program's structured in a way so that when they're, you know, it's drip fed. And if there are, you know, there are blocks or there are things, then we move through them rather than, like, um, you know, fall back. So what about, obviously, you, you have a lovely little daughter. And how do you feel this program has kind of helped you to help her? as she gets older? Yeah, in a lot of ways. I mean, for one thing, me feeling better, I feel like I can be just a better mom. (laughs) Um, I was really worried when I had a daughter and when I had realized what was wrong with me because my mother had endometriosis and I just thought, oh no, you know, I've, I've given something terrible to my sweet little girl and I don't want her to struggle in all the ways that I have. Um, but I feel so empowered about that now that, you know, I, I have control over myself and, and I have control over what kinds of things go in her body and on her body, you know, growing right. up and I can kind of alter her environment because I have this information and, and maybe she won't have to deal with those things that I dealt with. Yeah. Um, I have that awareness and I can pass it on to her and um, make sure that she doesn't have to go through that. No, absolutely. Or you can drill it into her. Like I've done with my daughter. I'm like, you do not want to go through decades of pain. I mean, decades. I mean, I mean, can you remember the first time that you started suffering with endometriosis? What age you were at? I was in high school and I didn't know what it was at the time. Um, I ran cross country and I would get this horrible abdominal pain. Um, and doctor after doctor, my parents would bring me, oh, it's nothing. You're constipated or you're, you're stressed or you're, you know, you're a teenage girl. <laughs> um, but now I, I realize that's, that's what that was um, because it just uh, intensified um, throughout my 20s. Uh, and then really intensified after I had my daughter and after I'd had some surgeries and things like that. So, yeah. So we're, we're talking and, and that's what's scary, isn't it? And, and I was interviewing somebody else, you know, last week and since she was 11 years old, she's been in pain since, since I was 11 years old, I had, I had 33 years. I mean, how you add, you clock up all those years that you're going to be saving I'm saving my daughter, you're saving your daughter. So it's quite a, a it's quite emotional, I think, to feel, you know, our daughters are not going to have to suffer mm-hmm. as we've suffered because of the information, the education that we now have. And hearing you talk, you know, when you say I have the power, it really is empowerment on, on a whole level. And what's wonderful as well is, you know, when I do speak to students, you know, a year down the line, 18 months down the line, they're still 
still pain free. They're still symptom free. And not only does symptom free and pain free, they're starting to thrive and flourish. Who would have thought a woman with endometriosis would flourish? You know, even have that word in the same sentence. But because they understand what was causing you know the problems in their body, and they have the power to swap these things out. Right. Right. Yeah. And that's what feels really extra wonderful about this process is that it is empowering to take control over your health and to make changes and and learn about yourself and see the the fruits of that labor. Um, Because I don't know about other people, but you know, when I would go to a doctor and, and would leave the building feeling like, well, maybe I am crazy you know, <laughs> their tests say there's nothing wrong with me, but I know that there's something wrong with me. You know, it, it, all the control was in their hands, you yeah. know, and, and but now it's in mine and yeah. it's very empowering. Absolutely. And, and hearing you say that gives me shivers on my skin because I was saying to someone yesterday, um, I was doing an interview for, for a film that's coming up on, on my story so I can sh- share this with more people. And she's saying, you, as you, to, to understand if you have suffering to the degree that you are with this condition, which is in chronic, chronically debilitating condition anyway, that nobody understands, then you have a medical professional saying there's nothing wrong with you and you should be thankful you don't have cancer. That's what they said to me. And I'm like, yes, but I'm getting, getting sicker and sicker and sicker. I'm feeling so hopeless in such a place of despair. But to be able to take power, to be able to understand and educate yourself and reclaim your life back, your body back. It's very difficult. I mean, so the emotional element, that's why it was very important for me to, to you know, express the emotional elements just as important because by the time women have come onto the program, I know my own journey, having people tell you that uh, you're making this up. And I joked with this woman, yes, and I said, yes, that's right. Because when I was a little girl, I wanted to grow up and be in bedridden for three years in high levels of chronic pain. That was my dream. What a ridiculous thing for someone to say, you know, you know, insinuating that you're somehow a hypochondriac, you know, um, that's not what any woman's aspiration is, is to be in high levels of pain and, you know, doubled up. So what would, what would you say to, to anyone who's, who's heard this now and feeling inspired and they're feeling a bit nervous and they're just like, Oh, you know, what do I do? My doctor is saying I should have another surgery. What, what would you be saying to this, uh, to anyone who's listening to any of the listeners? Oh, just, just, just try this, <laughs> try this <laughs> because, uh, and I think you've mentioned it before, you know, there's, there's no side effects to uh-huh. it. You know, it takes, it takes work. It takes motivation, yeah. um, but it's, it's entirely worth it, you know, and to, um, to kind of touch on what we were just talking about. I mean, I'd, I'd been to surgeons, I'd been to doctors, I'd been to OBGYNs. I, I had dabbled in the natural realm of things. Like I'd been to a chiropractor, I'd been to an acupuncturist, I'd been to a naturopath. Um, And honestly, none of that helped. (laughs) Even, even, you know, and and for some people, those alternative things, yeah, they can be really helpful. But even if it did, it was transient. and, And what did help was, making these changes myself, getting in tune with my body, learning what it was um, that was holding me back from healing. Um, and, and once I started really making those changes, I saw results. Um, right. So try it. Exactly. And, and I even offer a 14-day money-back guarantee because I don't want there to be any obstacles for people coming into this and trying it and seeing mm-hmm. um, you know, the wealth of information and education that's there to empower every woman yeah. Um, to, to get their lives back. Well, look, I just want to thank you so much for taking the time out again. You're looking so well and glowing. And um, I'm sure that this will be very inspiring to, to many, many women out there. And it's so important to get this message out that there is another way that you can heal through naturally through the label protocols and you can get your life back. Mm-hmm. So thank you so very much. Thank you. Take care. Thanks very much. Thanks for listening to Heal Endometriosis Naturally with Wendy K. Laidlaw. And I hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and rate us. If you're interested in learning more, you can download your top five jumpstart tips at healendometriosisnaturally.com and jump on the VIP email list. Remember to keep you number one so the world needs a healthy you.